1 Samuel 28, 8 through 25, and 31, 1 through 6. Saul disguised himself by putting on different clothes. Then, taking two men with him, he went under the cover of night to the woman and said, I want you to consult a ghost for me. Call up the person I name. The woman said, Just hold on now. You know what Saul did, how he swept the country clean of mediums. Why are you trying to trap me and get me killed? Saul swore solemnly, As God lives, you won't get in any trouble for this. The woman said, So whom do you want me to bring up? Samuel. Bring me Samuel. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out loudly to Saul, Why did you lie to me? You're Saul. The king told her, You have nothing to fear, but what do you see? I see a spirit ascending from the underground. And what does he look like? Saul asked. An old man ascending, robed like a priest. Saul knew it was Samuel. He fell down, face to the ground, and worshipped. Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by calling me up? Because I'm in deep trouble, said Saul. The Philistines are making war against me, and God has deserted me. He doesn't answer me any more, either by prophet or by dream, and so I'm calling on you to tell me what to do. Why ask me? said Samuel. God has turned away from you and is now on the side of your neighbor. God has done exactly what he told you through me. Ripped the kingdom right out of your hands and given it to your neighbor. It's because you did not obey God, refused to carry out his seething judgment on Amalek, that God does to you what he is doing today. Worse yet, God is turning Israel, along with you, over to the Philistines. Tomorrow you and your sons will be with me. And yes, indeed, God is giving Israel's army up to the Philistines. Saul dropped to the ground, felled like a tree, terrified by Samuel's words. There wasn't an ounce of strength left in him. He'd eaten nothing all day and all night. The woman, realizing that he was in deep shock, said to him, Listen to me. I did what you asked me to do. Put my life in your hands in doing it. Carried out your instructions to the letter. It's your turn to do what I tell you. Let me give you some food. Eat it. It will give you strength so you can get on your way. The Philistines made war on Israel. The men of Israel were in full retreat from the Philistines, falling left and right, wounded on Mount Galboa. The Philistines caught up with Saul and his sons. They killed Jonathan, Abinadab, and Melchishua, Saul's sons. The battle was hot and heavy around Saul. The archers got his range and wounded him badly. Saul said to his weapon bearer, Draw your sword and put me out of my misery, lest these pagan pigs come and make a game out of killing me. But his weapon bearer wouldn't do it. He was terrified. So Saul took the sword himself and fell on it. When the weapon bearer saw that Saul was dead, he too fell on his sword and died with him. So Saul, his three sons, and his weapon bearer, the men closest to him, died together that day.